Welcome back to Pin My Setup. Today we're taking a look at some setups with perfect cable management. So if you're interested in that, then sit back, relax, and interact because the show starts now. Hey everybody, my name is Matt Philly, and this is episode number 10 of Pin My Setup. If you're happy to see the series back, then be sure to hit that like button because it really does help. If you want to submit your setup, then head on over to pimpmysetup.com and be sure to follow all the rules. With that said, here's a quick word from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Trend Micro's home network security device. With everything going on, you're probably working from home or attending school from home. And because of that, it's important that you consider the security of your network. Back in March, I set the device up in my house and I can tell you firsthand, it's been extremely helpful. It blocks malicious websites and files, protects against viruses and hackers, provides firewall protection, and protects all connected devices in my home. My favorite part is that you control and manage it all from your phone using their app. I can see all the web threats blocked, the number of devices connected to my network, my total network usage, and a whole lot more. It even runs a daily security check on all connected devices, which makes me feel protected 24 seven. You can get $20 off the home network security device by using code SWASHINTV20. Just click the link in the description. Thanks to Trend Micro for sponsoring this video. All right, let's get into the first setup of the day submitted by Guillaume. He's 18 years old and uses his setup for gaming, work, and watching anime. The first thing that stands out with this setup is obviously the display. I mean, it's just insanely large and really the entire setup is pretty minimalistic. Your cable management is really, really nice. I find it interesting how you have some fabric to kind of conceal it and you have wires poking through for easy access, which is nice. And underneath everything is mounted. It just looks extremely clean. Also under his desk, he told me that the little white box is actually the power button for his PC, which I think is super awesome. My only real complaint is the theming. Other than that little figurine, it's a very bland setup. You turn the LEDs off, it's just colorless and there's a lot of open space, which isn't a bad thing, but it just seems weird. With that said though, there are so many things here to appreciate like the Nintendo Switch and the wire management. So overall, great job. Guillaume scored a 10, eight, nine, eight, and six, making his final score an 82. Next setup is submitted by Barron. He's 20 years old and uses his setup for gaming and development. The first thing you notice is obviously the length of the top and the contrast to the wall. I mean, mm, chef's kiss, but I, I am just extremely confused by where you're actually sitting. You're on the left side of the opening with nothing to the right of you. So why are you forcing yourself to sit over there and have your left leg kind of rub up against that drawer when really you should be sitting centered and everything else should follow suit. It is a lived in setup though, which is definitely nice to see. However, I would probably still clean a few things off. And honestly, I don't really understand why you have a top that long when you're not really utilizing it to its full potential. So unless there's something crazy that I'm missing here, um, I think it's got so much potential and it just needs a little bit of rearranging. However, that doesn't take away from your cable management. Ikea Signum looking real good uh, and you did drill a hole. So if you were to move stuff, I I'm sure that would be annoying, but oops. And also take a look inside this cabinet. Apparently it's got a server in here and he's working on making a smart fridge. So obviously the guy is pretty damn smart. Baron scored a 10, seven, eight, eight, and six, making his final score a 78. This next setup is submitted by Jamie. He's 22 years old and uses his setup for content creation. At first glance, this one kind of comes off like a magazine photo shoot. And I don't mean that in a negative way, but some people will definitely be turned off by the overwhelming minimalism, but other people are probably looking at this like, damn. The furniture not only makes the setup look unique, but it also does a wonderful job at hiding all of his cables. So for all we know, behind the desk, it's a mess. <laughs> I like how he can control his audio very easily and it doesn't stick out and his PC fits nicely with enough airflow. But the setup for me is definitely too simple, lacking a little bit of personality. The room as a whole though is badass and I definitely like those different figurines. Jamie scored a 10, nine, nine, eight, and seven, making his final score an 86. Next setup is submitted by Metin. He's 21 years old and uses his setup for gaming, school, photography, 
and relaxing. For some odd reason, the first thing that sticks out to me is the chair. I think the color of it is actually pretty damn cool. And really the setup is done perfectly. I think if you're going for an ultra wide on just a small little desk, this is how you should do it. He did everything I would normally recommend, like mounting the monitor, having the PC on display like that, but still having more than enough space to use the setup comfortably. And honestly, the only thing I could really complain about is the trash can being where it is. Just based on the keyboard location, I could imagine that's kind of like up against your leg. I don't know, would kind of annoy me. Someone's probably gonna mention that cable at the bottom, but honestly, it's not a big deal. It's probably ethernet or power, and sometimes you can't control where that's coming from, and so this doesn't look half bad. And if you look at his peripherals, he's obviously putting time into making the cables look really, really nice. And again, this room also looks like a nice place to hang out. You know, the TV setup is not half bad and the LEDs at night definitely give it a very cool vibe. Of course, I could always say add a little bit more theming. It's a little bit bland, but aside from that, it's a really nice setup. Metin scored a nine, nine, 10, eight, and six, making his final score an 84. The final setup of the day is submitted by Jason. He's 54 years old and uses his setup for strictly gaming since he already has a separate workstation. Unlike the other setups, this one definitely went hardcore on the theming and I like it. I think he did a great job and it's obviously stuff that he likes and has meaning to him. So that's exactly what the whole idea of theming is. With that said, it is possible sometimes to go overboard. Uh, and I would say that maybe the stuff on the desk is a little too much to an extent. I would probably knock over everything on this desk at some point while using it on accident. So that usually is a good indication that maybe you could tone it down just a bit. One thing I always mention when I see stacked displays is to fill the gap. Now, if you can't get the top one to touch the bottom, even after flipping it, then I would just recommend some electrical tape between the two. That way you don't see the LED bleed through. And when you're just moving your mouse and stuff, it just feels a little more fluid. The cable management here is interesting because we can't really get a full look at it, but I would imagine this curtain uh, is kind of doing most of the work right around where the footstool is. And that's totally okay because we're not seeing anything on the left or right in the open space. So it's all hidden, it's all done right. And honestly, who cares? <laughs> the last thing I'll say is I'm pretty sure this is the same Ikea top from the second setup. And this is a wonderful example of fully utilizing all of the desk space. But again, maybe I would cut back just ever so slightly. Jason scored a nine, seven, eight, eight, and 10, making his final score an 84. Taking a look at the scoreboard, today's winner is Jamie with a score of 86. And then last place is Baron, although he still scored a 78. And yeah, all these setups were honestly really great in different ways, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Pit My Setup. Be sure to give this video a like as it really does help and it makes it possible for me to do more of these in the future. And if you wanna see your setup featured, then head on over to pitmysetup.com and be sure to follow all of the rules. With that said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flippity flop.